Welcome back to The Den. Next up, the Potill children are selling a steak in their father's famous recipe for Rassam soup. And they're hoping the dragons can see the potential to make big bucks from this South Asian staple. Hello, dragons. My name is Rickon Potill, and I am from London, Ontario. This is my sister, Priyanka Potill. And this is my other sister, Kutika Patel. And I am 10 years old. I am very excited to share our product, Dr. Rasma Heartwarming Tomato Soup with an Indian twist. <laughs> I am asking for a $25,000 respite for a 25 steak in the business. Dr. Rasma is not only tasty, but healthy. My dad has been serving his famous Rasma at big gatherings. When me and my sisters are down with a cough, fever, our show throw, my dad whips up a batch of his famous russum. It cures us like magic without a trip to the doctors. Now that you, my sister, Kritika Patil, talk to you about the marketing scheme. You might be standing there wondering why are these kids here? Like, who's representing the kids? Obviously the kids can't run a business. So what the thing is, is my dad's really busy with his own work, and when he makes his wrestling, he has just a love and a joy for cooking, and it's just a natural, like, talent skill that he has. And whenever he makes this at weddings, potlucks, big gatherings, people actually come up to us and they're just like, can we buy this from you? Like, we, we really enjoyed this product. Let me ask you this, little guy. Do you actually eat this, or do you only eat it when you have a cold and your dad forces you to? No, I always drink it because it's tasty too. Is it tomato soup? Yeah, yeah. it's a tomato soup with all sorts of it's herbs and spices in it. I'm looking at the Indian equivalent of chicken soup, basically. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. It looks mm -hmm. great. I'd like to try it, actually. Okay. The Pawtills hope to sell their Rassam as a paste you can add to your favorite tomato soup your base. But right you. now, all they have is a secret recipe. And we have medium and mild and hot. What are we drinking? You know, wow. you come right at the right time. We're all feeling so a little... This fun. is serious stuff. <coughs> <coughs> oh, just kidding. <laughs> I think there's a market for it. No question. No question of market for it. I think what's interesting here is that you've come here and told your story, and you've done it in a very eloquent way. The product itself isn't bad. It's interesting, I've had three sips now and it's really hitting me. I'm feeling healthier and a lot nicer. <laughs> so I, I want to tell you wow, this. Wow, that's a good product. Give him some more. <laughs> now, as an investment of your time to come here with the guts you've got, stand up in front of us and do this good a job, I applaud you. But as an investment, I have to tell you I'm out. I, I also have a problem. I don't understand the product. I have to say I'm out too. I like you guys. I just thought you guys were great but I, I don't think we can sell these. You're making me think about the business aspect of it, so I'm out. Okay. With three out, they must close the deal with one of the remaining dragons, or they go home with nothing. Your offer is $25,000 you want. Is that what you're saying? Um, for 25%, yes. What if I moved out to 50%? Well, I was going to go in for that much too, so... Maybe. We got more money, yeah. These types of foods are huge right now in yeah. the fast food industry. Anything with a ethnic taste to it that's got a lot of spice to it is really very, very popular. With Arlene aboard, Jim sees the potential for mass marketing the soup, so he decides to drive up the percentage to gauge how serious these kids are. Or maybe we can go 75%. $25,000 total. Total. Oh. oh, you better think about that one. Do you want to go talk to your dad? Go talk to Yes. <laughs> go back in that okay. room and you talk to your father, please. So the deal on the table, two dragons, $25,000 for 75% of the business. But little Vikram has a counter offer up his sleeve. Yeah, we should just ask on there. Ask for that? Yeah, ask for $100,000 for, for $100,000. Hundred percent for fifty thousand and ten percent royalty. Ooh, we're into the royalty business. That's my offer of, of seventy-five percent for twenty twenty-five thousand dollars. Because we got to do a lot of work. Okay, 
This guy's tough, but he has a massive distribution channel. I know, the boss. You know, you're going to have a really yeah. tough time <laughs> refusing that. And I want you to stay in. I really do want you to mm -hmm. stay in. I think it's, it's important you stay in it. That's my final offer. And just having the ability to get going in business and have some experience at your age is important. Um, but you also have to do what you think is the right thing to do because this is your recipe. So I'm with Jim. I will we'll stay at the offer that we have. We can't be emotional with you because you're, you're young. Oh, I we, totally understand. And, and we, I came here being like, I want to be taken seriously. Yeah. Like, it's not just, oh, we're cute. So, like, I respect I that. I think you've got a product, it. and I looked at the product first. Mm -hmm. And I think we can do something with it, but we got to work together. The dragons aren't budging, and the Pawtills are wondering if $25,000 is enough to hand over three quarters of their company. We're going to go deal. We're willing to go. Perfect. Great. We got Great. a deal. Congratulations. 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 Good deal. Thank, Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Vic from you tell us, how did you first hear about Dragon's Den? Well, I watched it on TV with my dad. So you must be very proud. Yeah, very proud. <laughs> very proud of all of four. Yeah. Congratulations.